Throughout your time as an online student, you'll hear many tips related to how to be successful in your online classes. At the start of each course, I share a checklist with my students. These are probably tips that seem obvious after you hear them, but initially you might overlook them in the excitement of starting a new class. Here are just a few of the most critical points from that list that I share with my students to consider during the first week of class. I know that downloading and reading the course syllabus may seem obvious, but it's worth repeating. There's also a section on the first page where you'll find your instructor's contact information. Make sure that you keep this information handy, like in your context of your smartphone. That way, you can access it in the event that your computer crashes or you have trouble accessing the classroom. Having this information close by can save you a lot of stress when the unexpected happens. Do you know where the online library is? Make sure that you have shortcuts to the many helpful resources available to you in the APUS online library and throughout the university. Under the Resources and Services tab, there is a resource that I especially like for writing assistance. The Writing at APUS resource is phenomenal, and it will walk you through every step of the writing process. We all know that first impressions are important and they're lasting. Your introductory discussion post is your opportunity to make a good and lasting impression with your instructor and peers. There are two important points to keep in mind for that first post. First, make sure that you get it in on time so that your peers have time to respond. And second, make sure that you open up and tell the class about yourself. This way, you can create those bonds that are so important to your success as an online student. This is another opportunity where your syllabus will come in handy. You should take the time to sit down with the syllabus and a calendar in your first week. Here's what you need to include on that calendar. Assignment due dates for class, personal events and obligations like scheduled appointments, kids' classes, and games. Setting up a physical presence for all of your obligations for school and your personal life will help you to see where you might have time challenges. Trust me, reaching out to your instructor the first week of class is a great idea if you anticipate any scheduling conflicts, and it's also a great opportunity to introduce yourself further. Finally, during this first week, make sure that you get to know your classmates and your instructor. Your peers can be your best resources in the virtual classroom. Take the time to review their postings and learn a bit about them. Find things that you have in common and also things that you can learn more about from them. Building some rapport with your instructor and your peers in the introductory forum can make it easier and more comfortable to reach out if you need help or a study buddy. And it will also make class more enjoyable for the next eight weeks. Are you ready to get started as an online student? For more information on degree programs, visit us online.